Yo, what's good? It's VDZ. You already know who it is. Um, as you guys can see, I'm uh, I'm out here in the in the park today. Uh, I feel like uh, the last video I did when I was talking to y'all, and I was going on a on a little walk. This I guess this might just be my new thing. I don't know. I feel like being out here outside walking helps me clear my mind and just just speak with a little more clarity. Um, so how y'all been doing? Like, uh, I know this whole quarantine, uh, COVID-19 situation has really impacted some people's lives in, uh, in the worst way. Um, but we're not going to talk about all the negatives right now. Like, I'm curious how you, how you guys have been spending this time. If you have more free time these days, um, like, have you cultivated any new skills have you like guys found any new hobbies anything like that like let me know in the comments i'm i'm genuinely curious um i mean and if it's impacted you in a in a bad way which it has most people to some degree um you can let me know that as well because that's also important but that's not the topic of today's video um Today, I, I want to talk to you guys about something that's very important to me. Um, so, honestly, I'm not going to hold you like two days ago. I came out here and I tried to shoot this video about 13 times or so. And I feel like my head just wasn't really in the right place. Um, I was having some technical difficulties too. But also, I think I just... Uh, the truth of the matter is that I'm going to have to just really level with you guys and, I don't know, make myself a little vulnerable if I'm going to touch on this topic. And I feel like that, that was a little hard for, for me to do and put that out there a couple of days ago. Still not easy now, but I feel like uh, somebody out there might really be able to learn from from what I have to say. So what's the topic of today's video the topic um is the benefits of semen retention at least what i've gotten from it uh so to those of you that don't know what semen retention is it's basically exactly what it sounds like uh take the first word semen obviously we know what that is a man's uh his baby juice his nut his seed uh, his kids <laughs> uh, whatever you want to call it um, and then the retention is to retain um, the act of retaining to keep within put that together what we got we got semen retention the act of a man keeping um, keeping that those juices within him now what's what would be the point of that um, so I'm gonna take you guys back a couple years ago, um, 20, 2017, uh, mid 2017, and then through 2018 is kind of when I started my personal development journey. Um, I had realized that um, I was dealing with some anxiety and and depression. Um, that I wasn't really aware of prior to then and you know during that time when I'd uh, it came clear to me that I was dealing with like depression um, I wasn't diagnosed or whatever but like just looking back and reflecting I could tell like yo yeah something's not right here um, and before I even got to that point I I had always low-key felt and maybe someone could relate to this um, that like I wasn't really completely myself like I could just tell that there was some kind of like just cloud over me like I wasn't living to my full potential like I wasn't getting everything out of life that I could have um excuse me so I I come across uh, semen retention right and well first I came across nofap which is very similar they're kind of like brothers but uh, semen retention is like the next level with no fap, uh, which is abstaining from PMO, uh, 
abstaining from porn, masturbation, and orgasm, uh, unless you're with a female. So if you got a girlfriend or whatever, like the NoFap community is like, all right, cool, you can smash, you can get your nut off, like it's all good. Semen retention, you're kind of just abstaining from uh, from all that. Well, basically you just bussing, period. So, uh, a lot of what the guys that I was watching online, they were talking about some of the benefits being, one of the benefits being just decreased anxiety. The second one being uh, just a reduce in brain fog, um, just more mental clarity. So there was like many benefits to it. Um, one of the main ones is just having a, an increased level of energy uh, throughout the day. Now, this doesn't just come overnight. Like, this is something that you have to actually, like, work towards. Because, I mean, we we live in a hyper-sexualized society where just uh, everything is just instant gratification. And there's literally nothing good that comes from that. Um like anything that's really worth you know some substantial value in life uh it takes work it takes time the society we live in today like everything's just like all right boom um you know i'm feeling down right now i'm feeling depressed i'm feeling like just uncomfortable with my situation and where i'm at uh so let me just cut on this video and i'm gonna talk about porn and how bad that is for you in another video I want to stay on topic um, but even the, just the ability to be like all right now I'm gonna just look up whatever and gain like the the highest level of dopamine and satisfaction that I can just at the click of a button like there's nothing that serves us within that so yeah having a higher level of energy right uh, so we got to think like Obviously, that will happen when we release. We can. We know that we always feel like. How do you, How do you guys feel? I'm asking you. You probably feel like you're down. You feel drained. You feel uh, just like in a lower state. You feel lethargic. Just uh, a bunch of negative sensations that you get afterwards <laughs> you have that that post nut clarity as <laughs> some people call it and I actually I really like that term um it's like your eyes are open you're like oh dude what the heck did I just do like what's the point of that um as opposed to when you actually put in work like you get with a girl it's completely different um but anyways let me stay focused so that's one benefit having higher energy uh so I say that to say, if you're not doing that, then obviously the opposite would happen, right? Um, you would not be feeling down. You won't be feeling drained. Your that energy will be building up within you, because um, you gotta think like we don't really place value on you know what's within us. We tend to just misuse and abuse our bodies we have something inside of that inside of us that can create a whole life form like it's one of the most valuable resources <laughs> that's literally on this planet and like 99% of guys like and it's no judgment or anything because I know it's something that's hard to escape from because I'm speaking from experience but 99% of guys are just out here just wasting that, you know, for no purpose, not to be gaining anything. Like, it's not serving them at all. Um, as opposed to if you keep that within you, uh, you'll be able to actually, like, take that energy, take that buildup. And that, that buildup, which is what most guys feel like, all right, you know, as soon as I get that sensation, I need to release it. Um, cause that's what they've been conditioned to do, what they've trained themselves to do, like their whole lives. Um, that buildup, like if you hold on to the, for like a week, for two weeks, like you'll see how much just more 
in tune with you are that you are with life with everything that's around you when you're conversing with people um everything just flows naturally like you're not in your head about anything it's just like yeah you just feel out at one <laughs> it might seem like i'm talking some so <laughs> some hippie stuff to y'all but like this is something that's real like if you have <laughs> if you haven't tried it you can't knock it till you try it like seriously and it's not like you have to go out gotta buy anything this is just all right let me challenge myself to um you know just not get off not get myself off for like a week or two weeks you know however long you can go it's not gonna be easy by any means but i just say that to say like actually so you can actually see where i'm coming from and just know that this is something that's true so if you feel that you're in a, a rut like i did if you feel like you're you're just stuck at some point um and you don't really know how to propel your life forward uh, right now like and you're a guy you got to be a guy obviously uh, I don't really know how y'all females work man y'all different <laughs> um yeah just give it a try man like that's what got me to the point where I feel like yo I can get back on here I can post videos uh, because I have that energy within me now as opposed to before where I'm just feeling on a drain like and you don't realize it that's that's the crazy part you don't realize that you're actually operating on a low level um because naturally you're supposed to be like way up here right but every time that you bust a nut like you're really lowering your your i'm not trying to get too scientific but like your dopamine receptors are like you're frying them and they don't get as much uh satisfaction as you know that thing that makes you happy when you're experiencing uh, a good thing what's another one that's that's good um just being more engaged in and living in the moment um it definitely helps with that like you i've noticed within myself that when i'm at whenever i'm on a long streak i think my longest streak has been like two months straight so yeah that first video that I made when I was like all right moving forward I think that's what it was titled I was on my two month streak that's two months right which I'm very proud of without watching porn at all I slipped up after that but my thing is like as long as you don't give up with what you're doing as long as you keep pushing forward um even if you slip up, it does not matter, like, at all. Uh, and every time I slipped up, I've learned from it. And kind of going back to what I talked to you guys about in uh, that that video about, about failure. Um, but yeah, so I was on a, on a two-month streak. I was feeling great. That's when I coincidentally, y'all think, oh, yeah, he just so happened to drop that video. He's on two streaks. Like, no, this, this stuff correlates with each other. So I'ma just leave you guys with this. I really just wanted to create awareness. Like just plant a little a little seed of awareness in someone's mind. Um, to just, you know, get you thinking about it if you haven't. And maybe you could do your own research now, but I know there's a lot of a lot more videos I wanna make on the topic in the future. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'ma leave you guys with that. Uh if you're a guy, you know, just just think about it. You know what I'm saying? Just be more aware of what's actually going on. Cause awareness, that's the that's the first step to actually making some kind of change. So yeah, I got more videos coming up in the future. I really hate wrapping up videos and just going on the tangent. Uh so yeah, hope y'all got something from this. Enjoy this weather. All y'all not in Toledo, but wherever you at, man, stay safe out here. Be careful. Wash your hands. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Deuces.